Hey, what's up? Sonny James here at Serato LA. Congratulations on downloading Serato DJ Lite. It's a powerful program with just the right amount of features to get you mixing songs with ease. I'll show you how to get started. Once you've opened up Serato DJ Lite, you can start playing right away with the music that is included in the Serato Demo Tracks crate. To import music into Serato DJ Lite, use the Files panel and drag a folder to the crate area, like this. You can also use one of the available streaming services such as Tidal, BeatSource, Beatport, or SoundCloud to stream music in Serato DJ Lite. You do need to have an active account on whichever service you choose to use. Or, if you prefer, you can use your iTunes or Apple Music MP3 library. Select the option to show iTunes library in the setup menu of Serato DJ Lite under the Library and Display tab. Once you have your tracks in Serato DJ, Analyzing your files will help determine the BPM, or beats per minute, of your tracks. You can either drag the tracks you want to the Analyze Files button, or simply click the Analyze Files button to analyze your entire library. Tagging the BPM on your tracks will allow you to sort your library by BPM from either slowest to fastest, or vice versa. Now, you can drag your tracks to the crates as you like. Order them by BPM, or however you'd like to have them organized. Load your tracks by dragging or clicking shift and the left arrow key or right arrow key corresponding to the deck you'd like to load a song to. I like to set a cue point at the beginning of my track so I can quickly jump back to the start. Start the first track by pressing W or spacebar on the keyboard to play the left deck or just click the play button on the screen. Navigate to the crossfader in the middle and bring it all the way to the left. This will stop the sound from playing on the right deck. Load your second track. Match it to the BPM of the first track by clicking here on the tempo slider and dragging it up to speed it up or down to slow it down. Or you can use the sync button. Pressing sync will snap the BPM of the second track to the first playing track. As a general rule of thumb, I would leave the track that's currently playing at its current tempo and adjust the tempo of the track you're bringing in to match it. Please note, if you do press sync on the playing track, you may experience an immediate jump in the tempo on that track. Once you're ready and have the tempo set, you can hit play on the right deck by pressing the S key or return to start. You may still need to adjust the second track speed by using the plus and minus buttons here to line it up. This is called pitch bending. Alternatively, you can press the sync button again. It's a good idea to mix the next track in around the chorus or outro of the track that's currently playing. This is typically where DJs will introduce new tracks. You can now bring the crossfader slowly to the center. When you are happy in the mix, drag the crossfader over to the right until the mix is done or before vocals are introduced in the new track. It's generally a bad look to overlap vocals when mixing. Now you've finished the mix, you're ready to rinse and repeat and continue DJing in practice mode. You can really get a feel for how the set is going to play out and start setting cues and loops in your tracks to get the most out of the software and set up your mixes. It may take a few attempts before you really start to feel comfortable with the concept of mixing, but I'm sure you'll get it in no time. And definitely remember, always have fun. See you next time.